Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insights. We are concluding the series Test of Abundance. And the reason we have dedicated these 10 days to talk about these tests and our conduct during the season of abundance is because our faith obliges us to this conduct. Our abundance, our happiness, and comforts are founded on grace. This is why we are insisting on embracing a grateful regard for the providence of God. You know, there are so many models of imitating all around us. People whose lives look perfect, whose lifestyle look ideal by world standards. But we need to remember that we answer to a higher power. We subscribe to and are guided by higher principles. And so when the way of the world in times of plenty is to lean towards sheer folly and indulgence, our faith calls us to gratitude. It obliges us to put the Lord at the center of it to acknowledge his goodness and grace, to think beyond ourselves, beyond the moment. And this is why Jesus in Luke 12, 16 to 20, told the disciples the parable of the man whose land brought forth plenty and he sought to indulge himself and his life was shortened that he did not even enjoy any of it. This man who had no place for God in his scheme of things, if it was in our days, he may have said this, now is party after party. <laughs> you know, party after party. See, sometimes when money fame and success start trickling in people start developing contempt for God we start overlooking God we forget the dignity and mortality of our nature we forget on whose providence we have depended on before and the Lord calls all this foolishness by the way <laughs> that rich man Jesus called him the rich fool because we forget that we shall appear at the bar of God to answer for our actions. You know, if you read that story, you realize that it is not said that this man had acquired his wealth by fraud or oppression. He wasn't corrupt. His wealth had been rightly acquired. It was a blessing. And yet, he still suffered that fate. What does this tell us? That we can pray, we can fast, and the Lord will surely bless us in abundance. We can work hard, and the Lord will bless the works of our hands. He is the one who gives us power and ideas to acquire wealth but this does not exempt us from judgment if anything we are answerable to more because we understand how we are supposed to conduct ourselves we know what our faith requires of us and so when we choose to act in greed and callous selfishness when we engage in vain, self-gratifying acquisitions, we are going to answer for it at some time. The same abundance that has raised us to such great heights is going to lead us to our destruction if we take God out of the equation. But it is my prayer, as we come to the close of this series of tests of abundance, that we will not give ourselves up to the excesses and the reckless lavishness. 
that we will not become slaves of our success, our wealth, and fame. That we will not make our worldly comforts the summit of our happiness. May we not forget that our joy and absolute fulfillment as believers lies not in the abundance of our possession, but in the Lord our God. We said yesterday that the season of abundance is the season of gathering and laying up the seed for the next season. But let us take care that we do not become slaves of our own abundance, that we do not forget the Lord in the midst of it all, that however much we may succeed, the glory and the honor of our God remains our highest priority in Jesus mighty name shalom this is pastor lucy painter with your daily insights and this is tests of abundance day 10